I think I am just relieved that I got through it and very grateful also to the audience um, that listened so attentively and and this really makes a difference I think when you're trying to concentrate. Let's say yes, it's my first time, um, obviously it's very special. Uh, so growing up I listened to so many recordings from previous Chopin competitions made in here in the city and of course for me it's it's a wonderful privilege to be able to also join the club. For me it's more exciting because the competitors don't get so much time to try out these instruments. So basically you are going on stage and you don't really know exactly what you are what you are going to get from the instrument. No? So you're kind of discovering discovering things as you go and this creates an element of excitement for, for both me and the public, I think. When I started preparing for this competition and I didn't have so much experience on period instruments initially, of course, then it was very, uh, very difficult to swap between modern and historical action just because it's it's a very different feeling. But I think as time goes, you, you get more used to the constant changing and constantly adapting your technique. So I would say that now I'm fairly comfortable with this. As a modern pianist, I can tell you that there are many things that you have to adjust, the main one being touch and dynamics. Obviously, these instruments don't produce as many decibels as a modern Steinway, but at the same time, if you learn how to make use of the possibilities in terms of color and timbre that they offer, I think uh, they, in many ways, are superior to the modern instruments, especially for this kind of music.